When you get something really fly from Versace, they give you a nice garment bag. So you guys ready for this? Watch this. I have a really special luxury haul for you all. We're gonna jump right into the first piece, which is actually from the Versace runway collection. Can you guys guess what it is? This is the Versace full length fur, full fur of course, olive green peacoat. Look at the detailing on the buttons. Look at the back. It says Versace all over it in a beautiful olive green and black print. And it also is hooded. So, I mean, talk about a winter coat. This piece right here, I gotta say, is probably one of the most flamboyant pieces I have in my wardrobe. Whenever I put it on, I feel like it's almost like a costume. I feel like a superhero. Super player is what I feel like. I'm pushing P in this jacket. This jacket was originally about $4,000, but you know, I got a little hookup, so I ain't gonna say how much I paid for it. It's worth every penny. The detailing on the buttons, the hood, the leather on the lapels here, even the sleeve collars have so much detailing on them. And if you feel it, it's so soft. Oh. I get so many compliments on it. Yeah, this is the showstopper, the piece to start uh, the video with and I'm glad that I was able to show this to you guys. I hope you like it. We have one of my favorite designers over at Fendi. Let's see what we have coming up next, Taylor. Yellow, orange, blue, green, all the different colors of the rainbow with all these designers. Uh, Fendi bag, this is actually something from their winter collection and I we can't find this anywhere on the website, on Farfetch, on any website. We're, not, we're unable to find this. So these are called the Fendi Force ankle boot they're beautiful they have they're just so chunky they're so big and gaudy they have the ff logo all over them obviously i've worn these like maybe once Shh, don't tell anybody well i love the yellow tag on the back too it says fendi roma and it has this nice little like suede ribbing here at the top of the shoe so it's kind of like similar to like a derby shoe this is something that you could wear great with shorts I actually have a pair of fendi socks so i'm thinking i'm gonna rock this summer with these on and if you're short these give you height and i believe they have a woman's version as well these were probably about $1,200. Again, I can't find them on the website anywhere. I love the Fendi logos all over the front. And imagine getting kick with these, right? Again, the Fendi Force ankle boot for men. Black calfskin rubber sole. So next up, we have Balenciaga in the house. Gray bag. I'm gonna need a little bit more spice from Balenciaga's bags. I'll, I'll deal with it for now, but y'all could do a little bit more. And inside we have some beautiful Balenciaga sunglasses here look at the case the case is dope i love the way it opens up too look at that bam and then inside we have another dust bag it says balenciaga on it and these are got these bad babies it's just like a zebra print man it's like an animal print with like the iridescent bluish greenish lens this is a lot going on you already got the zebra on the outside and then you have the blue blinging you in the face like that. It has the Balenciaga uh, silver logos on each side as well. And they're a thick, heavy piece. So they feel like substance. You feel like you're getting your money's worth uh, when you purchase these. To me, these are given like uh, Rick James. These are given like 70s rock star, hippie type of vibes. I probably wouldn't overstyle these. I would wear these with a more minimalistic outfit and maybe just have the sunglasses be the main focus. What do you guys think? Do you like these thumbs up or thumbs down? These are new actually. These are new from the Balenciaga collection. And I believe these were about five or $600. Uh, we're moving on to the 450s. When I first saw these shoes, I was a little bit freaked out by them because they look scary to me. Check them out. They look like, again, he, Kanye with his shoes, he gives me like alien vibes. So these are called the Dark Slate or something like that. These are the 450s. They look black, but they're not really black. As you can see, the sole here is black. Fabric here is like gray. And then we even have like a cream slash brown and more gray in the back. These shoes, they look dark, angry. A, a dark Disney villain will wear these. These kind of remind me of like teeth, like shark teeth or some type of monster. The shoe is sick to me. Super comfortable. When I tell you when I put it on, it feels like you're walking on air. I still haven't figured out how to lace them yet. And I still haven't figured out what outfit to wear them with. So I'm not sure if I need to do like a loose sweatpant or like like a shorts or I'm, I have to figure it out. So Yeezys are so exclusive. It's like as soon as they drop, they sell out. You don't really ever pay the retail price. You're always gonna pay a little bit more to get them. I got these up for stock X. I believe they were probably about $400. Good job Yeezy and Adidas on the 450. I love it. I went on a Yeezy shopping spree. Next up, we have some of the more popular ones. We have the Yeezy Foam Runners in the sand. 
They have several different colorways. This to me is probably the most useful colorway because you can wear this with white, you can wear it with black, you can wear it with cream. It's almost like a neutral cream gray. The color is called sand. This is a size 44. So they say when you get Yeezys, you want to go up a size. I'm normally a 43. So this 44 fits perfectly and comfort level. Again, Yeezy has something about comfort. Kanye has been able to do what most luxury designers don't care or don't want to do. Make high fashion comfortable. You don't want to take it off. It's like a sliver and a tennis shoe. It's very, very light. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. I believe I purchased these from Urban Necessities in uh, Las Vegas at the forum shops. And these were probably about 350. It's one of my favorite Yeezys. They look again like alien-esque. Even though they're very elaborate on the design, the color is very neutral. It's a great juxtaposition with the design and the color. The final pair of Yeezys that I purchased are the newest colorway Yeezy 700s. Let's go ahead and open them up and let you see what we guys have here. Look at that, look at that beautiful Yeezy 700 in the copper fade colorway. I get like a, a burnt orange and copper. This is definitely copper here. And then they fade into another color, which is why I guess they call it the copper fade. But these shoes are again, very, very uh, versatile. I feel like you can wear these throughout any season. You can wear these clearly in fall, beautiful fall colors, orange. You could definitely rock these in spring as well. These are, uh, are light, uh, it's a light shoe. This part right here is like a porous fabric. So it's breathable. I also purchased these from Urban Necessities and Forum Shop. Shout out to Diddy over there. Thanks for always squeezing us in. The shoelaces are also really different. So when I purchased it from the gentleman, he said that they're not traditional shoelaces. So they're actually connected here and you have to cut them to actually get them open to tie them. I thought that was pretty clever. I've never seen anything like that. They fit a little bit snug. You know, Yeezys, you go up a size. I would probably say go up a size and a half if they make them, or if not two sizes, because these were a little bit difficult to put on. But once I did get them on, they go great with jeans. They go great with sweatpants. They go great with shorts. They go great with a lot of items. The shape of them is uh, very appealing to the eye. These were about uh, 350. So we're gonna move off of the Yeezys back to Gucci. Taylor, what do we have up next? Inside here we have a nice purple Gucci box. You guys ready to see what's inside? It's something so different. It's something so unique. I haven't seen anything like it actually from Gucci or any other high-end designers. Check it out. We have from the Hacker Collection, from the runway, we have the Gucci uh, Swarovski Crystal and Emerald nose ring. Are you kidding me? Like, check this out, guys. I just love the shape of it. I love the design. It's very elegant. It's very trendy. The green just stands out. If you look closely, you'll see it has the GGs on top of like the emerald. So it's super intricate, uh, blingy, it's gonna stand out. You don't even have to have a nose piercing to wear these. So it's a septum ring, it just like clips on, it's like a clip on ring. This is what it looks like, this is where you're rocking it. But if you're eating some cereals from spaghetti or something, you might wanna watch out, cause you don't wanna get your diamonds dusty and dirty, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it, it does get in the way, but it is a statement piece and people are like, what the heck is that in your nose? It was about $450 after tax. If you're not familiar with the Gucci Balenciaga Hacker Collection, it's basically when Gucci and Balenciaga decided to team up, switch their logos and play around with their branding a little bit and just give the customer something unique and different. The first time in the history of the both of the fashion houses that I've ever seen it being done. So I'll show you guys what I have next. And this was actually sold at the Gucci store. So some items from the Hacker Collection were sold at Gucci and then some items were sold at Balenciaga, but none of the same items were sold at the same store. So, which I thought that was really cool. And if we take a look inside, we have another beautiful box. This is the signature Gucci print. Normally it has the G's on there, but now they switched it out with the B's. So we have a beautiful silk Gucci Balenciaga print on top of that, just mixed in with it. And if you look closer, you can actually see the Gucci there. And I just thought this was a really great piece to jazz up any outfit. I, I love the black and white, but then the, the pop of color. And it's got a nice floral print. So you can wear this in the winter or you can wear this in the spring or you can wear this in the summer. Because it's white and it's silk, it's gonna be light so you won't be sweating too much. And I mean, there's just so many different ways you can wear it. You can wear it around the neck, you can wear it around the head, you can wear it as like a sash. Um, you could put it tight on your bag. So many different options you can do with it. And I just love it. This was about $500. And I, I think it was worth every penny. Look at the detail on the print and the vibrancy of the color. Next up, we have something like a small little trinket, something that I get everyday use out of, so I really value it. Taylor, let's see what we got coming up next. We have something really fun, something special, signature and special to the Las Vegas store and forum shops. Shout out to Naomi, who always takes care of me. I appreciate you. She, um, I actually saw this on the website and she held it for me on the side. She said, when this came in, I thought of you. She knows me, I like little trinkets. Check this out, guys. It's actually a Balenciaga coffee cup. So this is ceramic. The top is plastic. Take a look inside there. It says Balenciaga on the front and it says Las Vegas because I bought it from the Las Vegas store. They selected 
particular cities to release these cups in. I believe Las Vegas was one of them. They have a Los Angeles, they have a Miami, a New York, a Paris, and maybe like two other cities. But this is uh, really fun. I drink my coffee out of a Balenciaga cup every morning. I feel so luxurious. Again, I keep saying it's the luxury and the small details is what really turns me on the most. And as soon as I saw this cup, I was like, wow, I gotta have that. This was actually affordable, if you wanna call $120 affordable for a coffee cup. I think it's worth it. It's so simply designed, but it's still like elegant and classy and minimalistic, which Balenciaga does a lot of that lately. But yeah, this is the Balenciaga coffee cup with the Las Vegas special edition. Another Balenciaga bag. And this time we have something super fun, super exclusive. And if you're a health nut or you'd like to stay hydrated, then this item is for you. Look at this, H2O, it's a Balenciaga metal water flask or whatever else you want to put in here. I won't judge you. Um, but cause I've used it for a lot of different things, but yeah, the water flask is so cool. It's like, it's giving me like a military industrial style and the top screws off. It's got like this rubber connection so you don't lose it. Yeah, it says H2 on the front and then it says Balenciaga on the back and it's not like printed on, it's actually etched inside of there. Next up, we have a super exclusive item from Balenciaga. Taylor, thank you so much for handing me this item. We have a big box here, a big bag and a big box. Big bags busting out the Bentley fan. Thank you, man, Balenciaga brought it back and all these, you know what I'm saying? Balenciaga shoes. We have some shoes inside of here. It's not the sock shoe. It's not the triple S. It's something a little bit different. And I got to actually tell you a little bit story about this. So I saw this shoe and I was like, oh, I want to get that. But even me, some things I don't feel like are worth the price. So I felt it was a little bit overpriced. So I said, you know what? I'm not getting that, I don't need it. I left the store, literally what, two days later? Two days later for Christmas, one of my clients came in, brought me this and another item. And it's literally the item that I wanted. I thought he went in and asked the sales associate, you know, what I was eyeing lately. But no, he just figured it out. He picked out a new, check these out guys. These are Balenciaga. Fuzzy slides. They're supposed to be like Sherpa, but these are actually faux, so no animals were harmed in the making of these slides. These are some of my most comfortable slides that I have. You know, a lot of luxury designer slides, they hurt your feet, they maybe they're too small, but these give you a lot of space. Uh, again, you can see it says Paris on the top and then Balenciaga right there in a small print. All black, so they go with anything. Uh, these are really great during the winter. You can wear these really all year round. Uh, with a pair of socks, they really stand out. And they're super comfortable, cozy, Fuzzy slides, very spacious, true to size on the fit. These are about a 43, which is my size in Balenciaga. I believe there's about like $600. Thank you, Jabrizi, for copping these for me. We have a fabulous Gucci box here, Gucci green. And inside we have another hat. You know, I love accessories, I love beanies, because beanies to me are something that you could dress up or dress down, and they're very trendy and fashionable right now, you know, with the urban streetwear look. But the classic black beanie with just the slightest touch of luxury, you know the Gucci stripe. If you know, you know. But this actually fits really good as well. You could wear this with pretty much whatever you like. And um, I actually have some shoes that are like black with the stripe on the side that match perfectly with this. And if you have like a Gucci uh, shoulder or crossbody bag with the same strap, perfect. Great look. Just a small touch of color and sophistication on top of the black. Great pairing with a lot of different things. This is probably like the jacket of the season. Y'all know what this is. We have the Yeezy Gap collaboration puffer coat in black. He came out with it in, um, it was either blue and then he came out with the red one and then the black was last. It's such a unique piece. Everyone, every time I wear it, they're literally like, oh, is that the Yeezy, the Kanye coat? And they're like, oh, it's dope. So they love it. It's a compliment grabber. It's a showstopper. It's black, so you can wear it with a lot of different items. It's really warm and it's really cozy and comfortable. When you put it on, you feel like you're being wrapped in like a blanket. It's soft. It's like a vinyl material. This size is a double XL. It's oversized, so it's supposed to look really big and it's supposed to fit you really big. So this size fits me perfectly, actually. It doesn't have any um, seams here on the shoulders. That's what made this coat different. And it reminds me kind of those big puffer coats that Andre Leon Talley used to wear a lot of the time. I believe Kanye may have gotten some of his inspiration from that because I can definitely see the similarity. Every time Yeezy drops something, it sells out within like five seconds because they have all those bots purchasing and everything and trying to resell it on StockX. And I wasn't able to get this from the website, but I did get it from StockX. It was about 250, but yeah, this is the infamous Yeezy puffer coat. And the final item from our massive haul today, I know it's been a lot of Balenciaga, a lot of Gucci, a lot of Versace, a lot of everything. Our final item we have is from Balenciaga, something that I've needed for a long time. Everyday use item, I actually wear this a lot. I actually saw Kanye West wearing this too, recently. 
and it's a black messenger crossbody lambskin. So you see how it, it's, it looks kind of like it's vintage leather, but it's new. Uh, it looks like it's from the 90s almost. Um, beautiful black print with the Balenciaga white on top. And then it kind of has like the clip clasp like that, you know, like your old school backpack. So I thought that was fun. And so many pockets on the inside. It's got a zipper pocket. It's got um, another little panel pocket. Two pockets on the front here for you to put your AirPods or whatever you need, your phone. And then get this guys, another zipper on the back. So you're strapped, you got a lot of compartments. It's soft to the touch, but it feels durable. And the black is like everyday use. I don't like to carry things in my hands. So the fact that it has so many compartments and that it's black and the strap, I have to give it to you. Sometimes with crossbody bags, because me being tall and I have broad shoulders, a lot of the time the straps are too short on all the designer bags. Balenciaga made sure to make the strap extra long. So the strap fits me perfectly. Soft to the touch, but durable. $1,100 Balenciaga crossbody messenger bag. I would recommend this to everybody. And that about wraps it up. I appreciate you guys tuning in and joining me for this amazing haul. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on your notification bell so whenever I drop a new video, you'll be the first to see it.